Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, how are you today? I am here for review and animated film from Nickelodeon Namely is SpongeBob SquarePants Movie Spawn on the Run The film was released on August 14, 2020 and directed by Tim Hill This film is 1 hour and 23 minutes long This film has a very interesting story because behind the comedy that is presented there are several drama that make the audience emotional Nickelodeon movies in collaboration with Paramount Animation and United Plankton Picture relaunch its sequel entitled the Spongebob movie Spawns on the Run Different from the first film, which was still in two-dimension form, this film is packaged in a more detailed three-dimension animation. The totality of the animator is quite extraordinary. This can be seen in every detail of the scan and the character. The film resolve around the journey of Spongebob and Patrick who embark on a rescue mission to save Spongebob pet's name is Gary, Gary. who has been kidnapped by King Poseidon on his way to the lost city of the Atlantic. The conflict in this film begins when Plankton who is still trying to get the secret reserve for the Krabby Patty often files because of Spongebob prison. I knew it. <laughs> it's Spongebob who's the problem. I get it. Well, it was at this moment that Plankton saw an announcement that said the King Poseidon was in need of a snail for his special care. Thank you. This mollusk has the rejuvenating power of a thousand facials. <laughs> Given that SpongeBob has a pet snail name is Gary, Plankton finally kidnapped the yellow sponge pet. This is so that SpongeBob become busy looking for his pet so that it is easier for Plankton to steal the recept. Gary Bear? Gary! Oh, Gary! Have you seen Gary? No! Nope! Nope! Gary's been snail mapped! Gary! The Sage reveals that they are in a dream. Call me Sage. Good name. I'm made out of Sage and I am a Sage. So it works out pretty well and must overcome a special mission to continue their quest. He gives them challenge coins, which will put them into a tavern haunted by the ghost of a zombie pirate. Following a small musical number with Snoop Dogg, Even when I'm on, I'm off, y'all. Looking for the SpongeBob and Patrick discover that the pirate soul is trapped by an evil spirit known as El Diablo, and their mission is to free them. It's not a dream! <laughs> might be right, Patrick, the pirate soul is freed, and SpongeBob and Patrick continue their journey. In addition to Gary rescue mission, the film also features SpongeBob first encounter with his friend. Ready. Uh, you're a, a beautiful moment that turned out to be so meaningful to their friendship. Aku tidak punya teman. Ya, kau punya satu sekarang. Sungguh? Siapa? Aku. Remembering such words, SpongeBob gains courage and revises, arguing that his friend went out of their way to help him in the rescue. When Poseidon learned that he has no friend, 
revealing that he needs life for his appearance. SpongeBob offers to be his friend and tells him that beauty is within and he should not hide it. This causes Poseidon to erase all of his setting and return to his original appearance. Everyone accept him as he is and Poseidon lets SpongeBob stay with Gary. Well, you got one now. <laughs> really? Who is it? It's me. I'll be your friend. Do, do, do you mean it? Yes. But... The meaning of friendship that is always attached to a very SpongeBob series is still deeply represented in this film. That's all the review movie of the SpongeBob on the run. Thank you for your attention and thank you for watching my video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.